Nick, you, you seeing anyone? Uh, yeah, a periodontist. A periodontist? Yeah, What's Nick going just had on? a surgery. Welcome back to the podcast, Nick. He's been what gone was the last surgery? Week. You had a gum graft? I had a gum graft. You had a gum graft? Yeah. From where failed. did they take it? They take it from the top of your mouth. You know what? When I went skateboarding when I was a kid, I thought this would be my thing. I don't know why. You know, I never did sports, but I, you know, I thought, well, I'm kind of good at balance. I right away flew off of it. I gashed my whole face. I was gushing blood. I came home. My mother didn't kiss it better than that. She said, look what you did. Yeah. Look what you did. How could you do this? She said, you're going to need skin grafts. We were in the cab on the way to the hospital. She said, they're going to shave off your thigh and stick it on your face. I think was she was talking ointment. about sex change. It was an ointment. I was, I was good as yeah. new a week later. Yeah. I mean, did you say yours failed? It did fail, yeah. It was pretty disappointing. I was kind of devastated. Does the, does the periodontist give you money back for that, or what did he say they for should. that? No. I think they just said, see you in two weeks, I guess, for like an additional follow-up. But they have to take a pretty big chunk out of like from your other gums. And now this tooth hurts and it feels loose, so I don't know. And he's not going to give you money back for that? This is malpractice. It's not necessarily malpractice. Malpractice has to be outside of the standard of care. Uh, you would have a point. I mean, I, there was a lack of informed consent because I was just told, oh, this needs to be covered. I wasn't. They didn't tell me. It only works like 90% of the time. You know that dentistry, did you see this new documentary about the muse? Those alt dentists. Dentistry is like such a scam. Mm -hmm. It's actually like not scientific. A lot well, of the things. A periodontist that they do. is a surgeon, but a dentist is. Well, I don't consider that to be a doctor. Surgeon. It's a. It's a. It, you have additional dental school you go to. A periodontist deals with the bones and the gums. A dentist is just teeth. Now yeah. my question with the so now it failed. They have to take another chunk. I don't know. I got to wait two weeks. I got to put it, honestly, it was like, it was pretty, I was in despair when they told me that because I tried to do everything right. I was being. Right. It's I, was being, a, I have teeth problems. I, 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 I have like a complex where there's been times in my life where I try to do something right. And uh, by trying to like try my best, I really need something to work. I end up like it makes it worse. Well, that's you know like I mean? my new shoe. Gabby hates when I bring this up, but that's my new shoe theory. When you get new shoes, let's say when you were a kid and you don't want to scuff them, you have your shoes for the year or whatever, first day you fuck them up, but then mm. you never fuck them up again. But it's because you're thinking so much. Don't fuck them up, don't fuck them up, don't fuck yeah. them up. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, it didn't work. So I was, I was pretty distraught. And then he, uh, he could see that. And so he said, well, we'll like, he's like, well, you know, whatever needs to be done, we can go in and we won't charge you. Mm -hmm. But he said, we have, yeah, to, he he said, he said we have to wait two weeks to see like what, you know, how it heals. Yeah, and you can't get, now you're going to have a gash somewhere up here I that doesn't do. have gum. There's a big chunk missing from the top of my mouth. And that won't ever come back? I no, think, I don't think gums grow. They don't. If they recede, they don't grow. That's why you need a gum graft. But the reason that happens is because the, it's like uh, gum tissue needs an underlying bone structure to attach to because it it's receives like blood supply through the bone and stuff like that. So when you have bone loss from periodontal disease, then the gums just have nothing to attach so to. So you have periodontal disease? I've had, I mean, yes. Yeah, they say that you can't cure it. It can be stabilized. I had to get a root scaling and planing done years ago and then they don't like my regular dentist they don't tell you anything they're just like ah oh, yeah you got to do this I'm like ah oh, we got to do this so i guess it's not like they sat me down there like you have periodontal disease they told me we have to go under your gums and clean them out i don't know what my periodontal chart is i get x-rays they tell me if i have cavities but i don't like i don't know what the pocket depth is or any of that shit um i just went so how did you find out you needed this uh, the periodontist he took a look at it. he's like that's got to be covered <laughs>